Do you think we got a lot of snow yesterday, or maybe just what we would consider normal? There was enough to demand a second pass on the roads today. Amel Alhal headed out to get a second look at those efforts and joins us now live from Penfield with the latest. Amel? That's right, Adam. Yesterday's snowfall left most everyone in our region cleaning up after it. Some of the folks we spoke to say, say that they're grateful to witness a winter like this, and others maybe not so much. Love the snow. I'm a snow person. With over a foot of snow accumulating in much of the Rochester region, cleanup efforts are today's focus. Susan Galetti lives in the Park Ave area and says snow plows are doing a great job keeping the roads clear, but are unfortunately making it harder for homes who clear their own driveways by hand. The, the private owners that with the driveways, they plow them in. But that's the only downfall to it is that all uh, the snow plows, when they try to get rid of the snow, we get mm -hmm. suffered for it. Kathy Galacy also lives in the Park Avenue area. She wasn't thrilled about having to dig her car out from under the snow, but was thankful to find the end of her driveway already plowed thanks to the help of a good Samaritan. That's the one nice thing about this area is that people do come together and help each other out when it's this bad. And luckily, we've been hearing about neighbors helping neighbors across the region, including Jake Skoma, who made it his personal mission to clear all the fire hydrants in his area. I know a lot of people here in this neighborhood grew up here for a while, so they're all super nice, super sweet people. And I'd do anything to help them out. Lieutenant Jeff Simpson with the Rochester Fire Department says clearing these hydrants is essential to their work as firefighters in case of an emergency. Any time that someone helps us out by shoveling that, that, that hydrant out saves us seconds, sometimes minutes. If we have to dig through it, especially if it's buried and it's gone and all you see is the, uh, the yellow stanchion sticking out, minutes save lives. Second save lives. And if you're new to the Rochester region and this is one of your first big snowfalls, be sure to keep a snow brush in your car and maybe some other things. Shovel, <laughs> shovel, de-icer. Uh, another good thing is to is keep a big bag of cat litter in your trunk because if you're on ice, if you throw cat litter down there, it helps it right out. Lieutenant Simpson says that clearing the fire hydrants on your property is not mandatory, but it is increasingly helpful for the fire department in case of an emergency. For now, we're live in Penfield. I'm at Hell News 8. All right, Amel, people helping people happens all the time. Thank you. By the way, if you're interested, the Rochester Fire Department has an Adopt a Fire Hydrant program that you can sign up for over on the city's website.